Hello everyone. So at this moment, I will share you how to map wetland using temporal Landsat data and modified difference. Uh, eh, modified thermal normalized difference water index. So uh, I create a function. Uh, so I import data. You know, I'm using uh, this area, which is about uh, Palembang area, and I use Landsat Landsat data. Uh, level 2 collision 2, you know, which is the best, uh, we have a surface effect and value, so it can be better for our data. Then I create a function, on which the, on the function I do two things. The first is I cloud mask the image, so we don't want the, the cloud, so we delete the cloud, delete the mask, then we create MNDWI, or modified, uh, modified non difference water index, using a green and short water infrared uh, band. After that, I mask that. Uh, I return the image which have the mask value and the MNWI. Okay, then what I do next? Uh, next is that I create a call. I'm using the function, so I use I filter the Landsat egg uh, on this area, the Palema area. Then I filter the date. So I'm using three years. Uh, I think more real better, but three years is enough for uh, for my data. So from 2020, 2020, and 2022. And then that I map uh, all the image with this function. Okay, maybe I can show the image first. Uh, wait, oh, okay, so image. So this is the result of the image, three-year composite. Uh, and after that, as you see, as you see that uh, that when we filter the image, it's still collision, right? So if I do median, uh, it will return the median value, which is this image, uh, the cloud free of median. But we also create the MWI in the process. So this is the median and wi from the image so all the of the image and wi i calculate and get the median so this is the value and from this we can get like permanent water or river so in this uh in this uh script i'm using uh to get from i just select the mwi that have value above 0 0.4 so i assume that's a water so it's the result ah this is the result uh what i thought was water in the image there's still area that's there's still some but i guess that's the best we can hope for and then after that uh i try to calculate the wetland how do we calculate land? so from the collection we do a uh, what i call 98 percentile of composite so not like maximum value more like above 98 i reduce the collection where i only get the you know uh, above 98 composite then after that i this is the result of mwi so I could the but you I did have you know that's at the top highest you know and eight percent to the highest value. Why not using max? Uh, because I think max value is sometimes have an outlier. So I will not count outlier. Only count the ninety eight uh, percent. I think it's quite enough. This result. So different from the MW right? The median, median is like median value. The max is like the highest value of any given time in the area. So you get like a different like between uh, very wet time and just normal time, very wet and normal time. Now with that, uh, I'm using also the same uh, algorithm to get the river, but maybe lower. So I get the maximum NDB of one MNWI value above zero, and it's not part of permanent water, it's a wetland. That's how I create this uh, function, this uh, script. So this results, this is the wetland. Yeah, this green stuff, and we compare it to the river, will be like this. Like sometimes. Right here, so the the blue one is the permanent water, while the green one, or like teal or teal color, is the wetland area. So how we do it? This is how you get wetland. This is how I uh, we try to do it using MNWI. I hope this video can help your project to make it easily to uh, identify wetland. I guess that's it. Thank you. Bye.